Well, y'all see what's going on. Oh, man. New brakes. New brakes. New rotors. Man, we got to get this thing stopping right. So that's what we're going to accomplish tonight. It's the same day as we did the fans. And what else did we do? The pulleys. The pulleys. Yeah, we did the pulleys. Fan. Got all that stuff looking real good. We didn't do a video on the wiring. But I can show y'all. Bro, help me out. And, uh, yeah, everything looking mighty good. So, yeah, I just decided to go ahead and knock the brakes out, knock the rotors out. Um, I'm gonna just, I'm not going to do a full in-depth video. It's just going to show y'all bits and pieces of us knocking it out. And, uh, yeah, we'll get going. We'll see y'all right after this intro. Peace. She said Day job, I don't feel it. I need race car, top down to match my ceiling. I don't have none. All right, I got the jack stands up under the car, so we say jack stands on both sides. Now I'm gonna get ready to bust the wheels off, as y'all can see. Got them under there, so safety first, guys. We'll get ready to bust these wheels off. All right, I got all these broken off, guys. So we'll pull the root you off. Uh, yes, sir. Thing is big. It is big. 26 is 26. All right, we'll flip it around. All right, cool. So let's look at this. We're going we're gonna kind of look at it and make sure. Thing with oak. It is a. You ready to take the caliber off? I think it's right. Take the one. But we'll find out here in a minute. Let me get the dust cap removed. Let me pull the uh, brake caliber off, guys. And then uh, we'll show y'all what we got. Talking about. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna show y'all how I break loose these uh, old caliber bolts. So this is a technique that I learned a long time ago. So what you do, you get you a wrench on there. And then look at that. Now look how much leverage you got. Hold on, let me make sure I'm going the right way. I'm going the wrong way. But yeah, look how much leverage you got now. Flip this around. Hold on, guys. Well, our kids having a party. So y'all see that? Got some leverage. Look, boom. See how that what broke loose? Good to go. Yep, that's how you break them loose. All right, I'll tell you, I'll back on when I get it off. We are ready to break the caliber off. Uh, it took a little while to get that. Um, I will. We're getting ready to break the rotor off. But it took a while to get the brake caliber off. So this should be fairly easy. We'll break this off. And we'll see what we got. We're going to make sure it matches first before we put, uh, before we paint them. What are y'all doing? Be quiet, booty. Yeah, hey, go down the street. My kids, it's still summertime, guys, so kids are up late with me. There go my socket. My bad, guys. Oh, we'll get this off. Uh, Let's see what we looking like. I guess I could use my impact. Just for video purposes. Come on, quicker. Still don't want to come off. What the heck? There we go. Yeah, we've been having a bike day with the kids. It's been pretty fun. 
But they taking it to a whole nother level. All right, there we go. So it's coming off. Now remember how you had all this stuff. So we got that, that. We got our bearing. I mean, I know which way it go, but the best way is to just set it all like you took it off. All right, there we go. And we'll clean up the spindle. We'll get that uh, bearing out of there. First things first, we're gonna match it up, make sure everything is good. I'll clean all that up. We'll probably paint. We'll probably paint this black just to get it nice and clean and looking good. So we'll break clean all this down. Get it looking real nice, guys. Uh, well, let's see. I match this up. I know y'all can't see that. That looks like the right size. Okay. And then back bearing. You know what? I don't want to get this all dirty with these gloves. Let's pull those off. Bad shape, wasn't it? All right, so we'll knock the bearing in. Make sure everything's good to go. All right, let's get it going. I just I just noticed, guys, that it didn't come with the uh, the seals, so I'm gonna have to get them tomorrow. But in the meantime, we'll go ahead and get everything cleaned up and painted up under here. So it'll look real good. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do most of that off camera. That really sucked because I wanna get at least get one side done tonight. But it is what it is. I thought it came with everything, but apparently not. So we'll keep it moving. Got it cleaned up pretty good, guys. Got everything painted. So we'll start on the other side. I'm gonna probably do that off camera. And we'll get new seals in the morning. Five hours later. <laughs> Right now, guys, I'm getting everything painted up. I also went ahead and got new bearings and new seals. I got stuff everywhere. So we got new bearings for both sides, new seals, and a grease gun to get everything greased up. Um, off camera, I was trying to take the old shocks off because I might as well put the shocks on while I got room to get in there. Them old ones do not want to come off. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but we're gonna get them out. I'm not gonna do that on this video though. So we're getting these painted up. Once I get these painted up, we'll put in the bearings, seals, and get ready to install. We got them painted, and now we got, uh, we packed these bearings with grease. So we're ready to put the seal on this one, and then we'll do the other, the other side. I already got them painted up, everything's good to go. Let's just hope this seal gets the right one. Get your dead blow. You just wanna go around lightly. Uh, we wanna act funny. Golly. Get it in even. We got it sealed up. Now we'll pack the other bearing with grease. Make sure it's the right size first. Yep, it's sitting good on the race. 
So we'll go ahead and pack this one. You just want to grab a big, big blob. All right, see y'all later. And then you just want to, you want to pack them. So you want it to get all the way inside of the bearing. Don't just wipe it on the outside. Just see how it's pushing through. And they make a little tool for this too. You ain't gotta get so dirty. Well, you still get dirty. It don't matter. But we'll pack that up. So we got it all the way through. Flip it over. I like to pack both sides. Okay. And that way, we don't have no issues. I, when I was young, I, I did this and I burnt up some bearings, so. You will burn them up if you don't have it right. Yeah. All right, I'll put that excess grease off in there on the race. Set it in there. My hands is dirty. I can't move the cameras, guy. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah. Let me get the other seal. We'll get that installed, and I'll let y'all know when we're ready. Well, I'll turn y'all back on when we're ready to start installing. Let's get this bad boy on there. And I kept this plastic on there because you don't want dirt and stuff getting in there. So everything's nice and clean. We could do a quick wipe off just to make sure it ain't no dirt. Shouldn't be. And then you could also add some grease to the axle if you wanted to. But <clears throat> we'll just make sure it ain't no, no gritty, grainy stuff. We're good. Good to go. Everything's nice. Threads look good. Put that down there. Yeah. We're good to go. We could. Y'all think we should add some grease right there? Yeah, we can. Let's see. Add a little grease on there. Make sure we good. The more the merrier, the more the merrier. All right, and get rid of this glove and we will install one well i really don't need gloves to install so let's grab these are made by it looks like they're made by two different brands so i'm gonna put the one that looks a little more heavy duty on this side just to make sure it's gonna fit because it's better to do this one first and then if it don't we know what we gotta do I might spray it. I might spray it. Yeah, I must have spread right there. Let me get, uh, so we'll get our outside bearing packed and we'll get our castle nut. We'll put all that stuff on. Hope you guys can see. So we got the last bearing. I'm trying to do this without getting the camera all dirty. We're gonna pack this one up. And then y'all remember we put a whole bunch of grease on the inside just in case. So you want to get in all the cracks and crevices. Oh, that didn't sound right, but y'all know what I mean. Get it up in there real good, like that. Now we'll try to put this in without getting it all over the paint. And then hopefully it fits. Did they sell me the right bearing? Did they sell me the right bearing? They did 
in a hurry so I did not these are the old bearings I did not get uh, the new castle nut but it'll be alright so you put this on and it only goes one way and then when you try to do this and not get everything dirty it's even worse shoot where's the line at there it is so it's a little groove. And once you get on that groove right there, we good. All right. Now we'll put on our, this is called a castle nut. Put our castle nut on. And then you want to tighten this all the way down. I need to take these gloves off. And I'm only show y'all me doing uh, one side. Let me take these. Let me take these gloves off. So I don't get my tools all dirty. Um, I'll just show y'all this side. And then we'll go ahead and get the other side going. And we'll get this thing outside. Got rained in today. Stuck right here waiting on them back seals. So rule of thumb, tighten it all the way up. She barely moving. Ow, God dang it. That hurt. That's why you gotta have your gloves on. God dang it. Tighten it all the way up. Then quarter turn off. So we'll get it lined up straight up and down. We'll go quarter turn, boom. We'll see how that feels. Oh, that got me good. That feels good to me. And they got a tool where you can check. You, you put it on here and you can check backlash. So that'll tell you like how much play, how many one thousandths of play you got. But quarter turn, we should be all right. I gotta get some more gloves, get the Carter key in. I'll show y'all once I got it in. Cause that, I gotta get real close and find out where the hole is and get it all lined up. All right, I got the Carter key in. And like, it's just me, but I like to put a little extra grease. A little bit extra. Ain't gonna hurt nothing. So I, either you can put it on there or just right here. It's gonna get on there. We can put some like that, just kind of right there. And then I just like to put a little extra, uh, guys. <laughs> so then we'll put our dust cover on and we ready. We ready with this side. Give me one sec, let me, let me beat it on there. Gonna go do it. All right. If you can't turn it with two fingers, it's way too tight. So we're good there. We'll put our brakes in, caliber on. This side will be done. This side is complete and drying. So we're gonna move to the other side. Oh, let me make sure I got. Yeah, I need this. Yeah. Make sure I got the stuff I need. We're almost done, guys. Uh, my knees is killing me. I'm gonna have to. I'm trying to sit down and do this, but it ain't working that way. I have to move the chair out the way. Ah. All right, let's get it on here. I compressed uh, the caliber as much as I could. Hopefully, it goes on. 
go with this crap. <sighs> My bad, guys. Oh, right. let's see if we can get her on there. It's gonna be a tight fit. And I ain't let the paint dry all the way. dry a little bit guys trying to rush trying to get it done we'll let it dry a little bit a little bit longer I need, I need more light over here all right let me let it dry a little bit you do it <laughs> guys i ain't gonna lie this thing kicked my butt uh, it did not want to go on there. So I had to, y'all see I got the C-clamp back out. I put the brake in there and then pushed it back as far as it would possibly go. Hope it didn't mess it up because you, you risk uh, messing up the rubber on there. But golly. So this side's good to go. We'll put the wheel back on and then uh, we'll knock the other side out. I got both sides on. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to bleed this system by myself. Because <laughs> I don't have nobody here. This side was a pain in the butt too. So I'm going to bleed the system. See if I can have something to hold down the brake pedal. And then uh, we'll show y'all when we drive it. We back in action. Whew. I'm tired guys. Alright. So I'ma still cross them. I don't feel like, like tightening it up by hand. Oh my goodness. And we need one more. Uno mas. One more. Tighten up the key. I already got the other side ready to go. Um, uh, my wife's here, so she'll probably be able to help me. Help me bleed the brakes. Woo! All right, we're good. There we go. All right, guys. Whew. A lot of work. A lot of freaking work. So. Let me get everything out the way. I'm going to pull this bad boy in. And we'll drive it tomorrow. So y'all can see what the brakes do. Mm -hmm. 